everybody. Welcome to the show. Been a minute. I don't think I've been able to do a Friday fuss, uh, and I don't even know if it's been this year. It's been so much going on, so hectic, and I'm, we at the halfway point exactly, and here we go. A lot of things to discuss. So many things have been going on. We've had great people, legends pass, and Jim Brown and Tina Turner uh, just recently uh, as well as so many other things going on in the news and different incidents. Um, so I'm going to try to cover just a couple of things. And uh, also I'm going to get to the comments in a little later. Uh, I'm going to put the link in there. And if anybody want to come up and uh, chat live or comment live on some of the topics um that'll be what's up we'll do that for a minute too like i used to so um definitely appreciate everybody for coming through um a lot like i say been going on and uh you know it's good to be back and uh like uh i got a couple more things planned coming soon so uh definitely I'm, I'm, I know, I don't know, but uh, if people, I know it's a lot of content and things out there and it's it's been a little slow for me, but it's been a lot going on. But now it's time to get back in gear. So I appreciate everybody. What's up, Rashonda? How you doing, sis? Rashonda been rocking and following with me for years and I appreciate all the love and support. Um, definitely uh, been been there, one of my ride or dies. So I appreciate you, sis, for having my back, as always. Um, so, a couple of things that I was going to talk about today uh, in depth is, uh, like I say, the reality star just recently passed away tragically and uh it definitely was very tragic because she was going for a bbl surgery and for those mostly guys probably because i didn't know what it meant when i was first introduced to it not too long ago um but some of the lady friends told me is the brazilian butt lift or what they call like the mommy makeover, which is uh, like a tummy tuck or, you know, get rid of some unsightly areas that ladies may uh, not want anymore for whatever reasons. Um, but for the most part, it is cosmetic, meaning that it wasn't life-saving or anything like that. And uh, I'm gonna pull up a little bit about the lady and, and break it on down a little more. Um, but the sad part is I think she was already a very beautiful lady. Um, and what that means is like, I don't think it was necessary. Not that if she wasn't, I would say, oh yeah, she needed that. Um, because one thing that a lot of young people may not realize today because it has been kind of made to be not as serious, but you don't want to have surgery if you can not have surgery. Hold on. Yeah, you don't, you don't want people cutting on you if you can uh, avoid it. And a lot of people are doing elective surgeries and don't even realize the risk that they are undertaking. Now, this lady actually did this in the United States, in Florida. Her name is Jackie O, and she's a reality star that is famous for being on a show called Wild and Out that Nick Cannon produces and is also starring. Um, and she also has three cute kids with a comedian named DC Youngfly, who also appears on the show. And so, 
It's very unfortunate. She's only 32 years old. She's in the prime of her life. Ooh, I'm burning up. In the prime of her life. And now three babies are unfortunately without her mom, their mom. And my main thing is ladies, I know it's easier said than done, but if you can try not to have elective surgeries that can put your life in danger. I know it's not that easy when people are self-conscious or feel unhappy about certain things and they feel they can fix it. And I know it's easier said than done to say, be with somebody that love you for you. I, I know that's easier said than done, but I would say be happy with yourself first and uh and don't let certain things like your physical aspect uh throw you off because you know a little belly or some you know stretch marks and things like that um you still blessed to be able to really that's just cosmetic and you can still be in good health so um it's unfortunate um they say that uh she just 32 years old she ended up going to florida to have the surgery and this surgeon was uh six years in business they say they were posting that she was there on instagram and things but it's been taken down and uh you know it's just very very unfortunate um this situation and so young at 32 at 32 and I get it I mean I went through uh, well, a lot of change and tragic health conditions when I was 33 so I get it when you're in the beginning of your 30s and things and but she was just getting started unfortunately and now to be gone before so soon with three young ones left behind um, it's just just got to be devastating. And DC Young Fly, this is her partner who she shares three kids with. Um, I know he was devastated uh, when he heard the news because they say he was out of town, I believe, in Atlanta working on another project when she passed. So um, it's definitely unfortunate. Um because now these are three young ones and the, his busy schedule, they don't have their mom around and she was just starting her own business line, so to speak, branching out. She was in real estate now. They say that she had began to uh, start her own, I believe it was a lip gloss line, it said. And uh, here's the picture of her three young children with her partner, D.C., Young Fly. And uh, it's just very, very, very sad. They say they met in 2015, and uh, they pretty much connected after that. And, uh, yeah, just, just very sad. So um, I think that, I mean, I've talked to some people in uh in the membership discord shout out to my girl barika very knowledgeable about this and uh it's a lot of doctors on instagram actually that post different things and share different things and she actually was on a whole nother time different subject but showing us some that go right some that went wrong different things and that and uh, whether they're board certified and all of these things, I'm not exactly sure if this physician was board certified. I know she said that's one thing you should always look for. Um, but again, always keep in mind that, uh, you know, elective surgeries, you are, you're unconscious, you got somebody cutting you open, anything can happen. And, uh, you know, got to be careful out there. Got to be careful because 
You can be even in the U.S. I know we've heard more horror stories of ladies going over there to to get that, you know, belly trimmed, tucked, flipped with all the stuff they do to make it look great. And also another thing with these uh, TV shows, reality shows, they kind of promote it as if there's no worries, like it could be done kind of easy. And it's a lot that goes into that. Um, But I would say the main thing I think people should take away from this is uh, that it is danger and that even if you are in the U.S., you may want to think two, three times about possibly getting this type of thing done. And uh, I get it in this world today. Everybody needs to look good and have this and have that and bang, bang, boom. <laughs> Be able to take this off and look good still. But, uh, man, ain't nothing better than your health. I'm telling you. So if all you got is a little cosmetic this or that, be blessed. Be blessed. That's just showing that you've been living. You've been you've been alive. You've been you've been making it through things and still moving. So I hear some dudes like them tiger stripes and stretch marks. You know, they like that fupa. You know, they don't, when y'all go out, they don't need a little fanny pack. Just stick a little couple bills or the wallet in between the fupa flaps. It's good to go, baby. Let's go. Sneak in a weapon in the club. You know what I mean? You got to have fun with it. Make things work. I do. I got my little glove compartment. Boop, boop, boop. Hey, what? We got a problem? You know, who going to say, hey, let me check you. Let me lift the flap. Let me lift the flap. You ain't going to do that. So, you know, make it work. <laughs> make it work. So, you know, that's where you can put your bill for maybe out in public place worried about pickpocket somebody might try to steal the wallet or something you stick up the goods in there you know all they got is an empty bag gotcha (laughs) works every time (laughs) what's up what's up Renee what's up Halima how you doing you say uh, Carl, Carl what's up brother how you doing Big Bird, what's good? You say, bless the family. That's what's up, man. What's up, Savannah? How you doing? Appreciate it. Say, losing weight. I hear that. I mean, we all need to. You say, you trying to lose weight or I'm losing weight? I don't know. (laughs) But if people want to lose weight, lose it for the right reasons and do it in a healthy way. That's all I'm saying. You know, never try to sacrifice yourself or put yourself in harm's way for a look. And of course, everybody say they're not doing it for nobody else. They're doing it for themselves. And a lot of times that could be true. You feel better about yourself when you look like you may used to look or whatever the case. I get it. But uh, always do a pros and cons of whatever situation. And uh, that's what I always try to do. Weigh the pros and cons. Maybe you need a second opinion. Look around. Wait. Check it out. Because, uh, you know, like my grandma say, it'd be too late to say, uh-oh. Next thing you know, you got a real problem. So Big Bird say he liked that cushion for the pushing. Go ahead, flip that flap, baby. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Sound good too, huh? <laughs> Right. So, hey, you know, ladies, let's find somebody to embrace it all. You know, have fun with it. Don't keep it in the dark and hide it. Unless it's scary. (laughs) Yeah, definitely was a sad, sad situation. And we're starting to hear more and more of these stories. It could be because more and more people are choosing to go for these surgeries now that they've become more affordable i think some you can get for five or ten grand maybe not the best but that's probably why we're hearing more of these problems 
and uh, I wish that uh, it wasn't the case. Because uh, truth be told, ladies, uh, you guys think a lot more of things than guys do. Um, you know, if the hair is nice, that's all the guy's thinking about for the most part. They're not thinking of all the other stuff and uh, the ladies can think about and creativeness and things. I mean, hey, it's cool and we won't, you know, say it, it, that may not look nice, but we are simple. So, for the most part, uh, most guys wouldn't ask you to have a surgery or put pressure on you to have a surgery for that reason. Um, but again, I know and understand how it could be to be self-conscious on your own self. So, all right, moving on to the other subject. <laughs> Speaking of self-conscious and, and getting stuff done, <laughs> well... Al Pacino, as well as De Niro, they ain't worried about nothing. Um, and they, this is really weird to me. <laughs> um, I don't know, do they just not care, or they just want to have somebody to leave money to, but Al Pacino, as well as Robert De Niro, now have children. <laughs> Newborns in their 80s. Al Pacino is 83 and his girlfriend is 29. 29. She could be his grandchild. She could be his grandchild. Wow. She could be his great grandchild, technically. If he'd had her a, a child when he was 20. And that child had a child when they was 20 or 21 or 22. <laughs> Another 21, 22. Shoot, he could be fourth, fifth generation up in this piece. And uh, this child, she's going to raise this child on her own. He's 83. And at 83, anything could happen, God forbid, with your health. Okay? And let alone... You may not, you may punch that final ticket. Okay. Now he's very rich and I'm sure he's going to leave that baby and that lady girlfriend a lot of money. So I guess she was like, well, have a baby by me, baby. Be a millionaire. He said, okay, this is the deal. Ooh, ah, that ass I'm going to tap. Ah, ooh, ah, let me hit that. Uh, let me hit it from the left. Uh, let me hit it from the right. Oh, uh, bars closing down. Last call for drinks. Let me tap it one more time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when that child is 17. 17. Not even 18. 17. He's 100. He would be a hundred. Just think about that. That he wouldn't even be. He would. That child wouldn't even be out of high school yet, and this man would be a hundred. <laughs> Is that your grand great 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 granddad? No, no, that's pops. Hey, dad. Ooh ah, that's my boy. Oh yeah. Ah. <laughs> What's up, K. Leezy? Say happy Friday. <laughs> yeah, man, this dude. 83 with a child. I don't know, man. What do you guys think about that? I mean, he's just got plenty of material to look at his dad, I guess, huh? He'll know about me on the video cassettes or whatever they call them. Oh, yeah. Watch me at your local video store. This is the guy that paid for your life. Pacino. Oh, yeah. That's me. Your pops. Your brothers and sisters. 
They could be your grandparents. But great, great, great grandpapa, that's really your papa. <laughs> wow. This is insane. Big Bird, you say, is this their first child for either actor? Uh, no, that's not. <laughs> I believe De Niro got kids that's like 40s and 50s. And the same for Pacino. Um, so, hey now, nah. oh yeah, booty on the deck. Hey now, nah. all for me. Best slice I've had this side of town, I tell you that. <laughs> Marcus Bell, you say that baby might end up being the uh, caretaker at eight years old. I know, right? Okay, you got a dirty diaper, so do I. Let's play whose dirty diaper smells the worst. Ah, let's go. <laughs> hey, now. Uh-oh, looks like I got a doozy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like I went poopy in the pampa. How about you, baby? Just like your old man. <sighs> Chip off the old block. <sighs> Cha-cha-cha. He started reverting back to vaudeville. <laughs> Let me read this story. This is crazy. Uh, it says that. Woo. Scarface. Oh, yeah. You want that rough? Okay. Let me tell you something. Another cuello. You're going to call him a dolly in the morning. Okay. You want to play rough? Okay. I like a rough play too, you little cockroach. Bend it over. Let me see what you're working with, huh? You're gonna be mine. You like a little pelican? You like a pelican? Huh? The pelican, pelican? Okay. Give me some of the pelican. I like it. <laughs> it says that she's eight months pregnant. They've been romantically linked since 2022. So one year. Since April. I mean, she can't waste time. Hey, hurry up and get it in me. Hey, let me tell you something. You don't rush at me. You know I talk it to? You think I'm some fucking bellboy, huh? You know I talk it to? You want to play around? You want to go to war, huh? You want to go to war? Tony, I don't do it, Tony. You, I told you stay away from my sister, huh? <laughs> it says that <laughs> she's 29, right? It says Pacino's daughter is 33 that he has, who he shares with, wait a minute. The New York native is also, also a father to daughter Julie Marie, 33, who he shares with ex-girlfriend Jan Tarrant. And 22-year-old twins, Anton and Olivia, with ex-Beverly D'Angelo, who's a good actress. Wow. It said that he was not planning to have another baby uh, in this new relationship since they only been dating a year. But it is what it is. Hey, let me tell you something, okay? You're sitting right here. You want to play war? Well? well, let me tell you something, okay? I have a the gun, but the gun never shoot a blank, okay? I have a fully loaded clip, and that never shoot a blank ever. I never shoot a blank, okay? So, I have it, and I'm ready to go to war. And never shoot a blank. <laughs> so, hey. The real mode stepping Paisley, you said you know they could be saying they want wealthy men, high value men, so they got to get the body work. Eh, well, if that's what they saying, they making a big mistake. Because if you are doing that to get a wealthy man, you're not getting a wealthy man. You trying to get smashed by a wealthy man or 
trying to be something else a wealthy man has, like hoes and different area codes, you could do that. But if you're trying to be his woman and be with a real high value man, you're going to need something upstairs. Otherwise, you won't have any value other than being a booty call on deck. So, you don't want to invest in that ass, so to speak. You want to get into that ass sets in your head. Because a high value man going to want to talk about high value things and do high value things. And if all you talk about, I don't care, I don't know, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, he will never see you as an equal. But you got your booty poked out and, and boobies sitting up right that's all you are is entertainment like going to rent a video or going to a play or getting a nice dinner i'm gonna bounce these boobies and, and then i'm gonna bounce so you know you definitely don't want to invest in that you know what i'm saying if that's what the ladies think would get them a high value man you know may get them used by a high value man you know, so um, I'm going to put this link up if anybody want to come up and talk about some of these topics. Um, I'm going to pull up De Niro's uh, situation with his lady. And I mean, yeah, it's a double standard with men and women, I guess, to the end of days. Because I don't know if uh, men would be getting pregnant by older ladies in their eighties and they if the man was in their twenties if that could be done. Um yeah she may have money and things but I don't know. Guys <laughs> would you do that if the roles was reversed? If it was a eighty three year old Al Pacino female, who's the eighty three year old version of Al Pacino? Would you let Liza Minnelli impregnate you in your 20s? <laughs> but uh, a 1A, if you would, let an old rich lady, if it was, could be done, impregnate you. <laughs> but when they die, they'll leave you a couple bucks or two. I'm good. Share. Yeah, Share is out there with a youngster, ain't he? Share is a great point i'm about to put that up there crystal crystal came with that fire she hit me with that one real good share could get it i ain't gonna lie with her old self bust that hip share really does still look good though for her age she looked like maybe in her 50s and she's gotta be close to 80 or mid 70s and she's with a guy that's like 30 years old right now, right? So, that's a good point. Um, we don't know how it's working. He probably drying that thing out. But, <laughs> but Cher actually is not bad. Would I let Cher, if, I, if this could be done, strap me with a baby in my 20s? And she leave me, how much would she leave me? Say that they only going to get left... Five million. You know what? <laughs> I would do it. I would do it. I ain't even gonna lie. In my twenties, if I was twenty nine, and uh, now I'm about to get a baby and five million, and it's by a celebrity, and they ain't gonna be around too long. <laughs> baby, we, you know, I don't know. I, I might name the baby uh, Cher Junior. <laughs> I don't know That's kind of weird When you think of it that way With these ladies Because what would she be with him She would not give No 29 year old fine ass Supermodel type lady like her Is giving 83 year old men Coochie It's because he's Al Pacino And he's worth a couple hundred million Okay hey I'm sure Oprah could have us some stud muffins walking around, too, if she wanted. But women don't get down like that. It's a double standard. I get it. Anyway, 
if a man, if Cher, <laughs> Cher, I guess, I guess Cher might get me, huh? I might be having Cher's baby if she was leaving five million. If she said one million, I might do it still. <laughs> hey, it ain't gonna cost a million to raise that kid. Nah, I'm just <laughs> uh, Mina, you say who died? What's her name? Just got on. Thanks. Oh, well, the lady that died is Jackie O. And she was on uh, Wildin' Out. And she uh, was in Miami to have a BBL. And uh, the surgery went wrong. And she died. They say that she... I think they said she had a stroke or something on the... Or a heart attack on the... Uh, on the during surgery. You know, what, what people got to realize and always keep in mind when they putting you unconscious, they got to have an anesthesiologist and they got to monitor your heart and all this stuff, cutting you open and it's just, woo, it's a lot. It's a lot to go to surgery. So, you know, got to be careful. All right. Say the real most stepping Paisley said, hey, Jay, she had that baby by Pacino and De Niro baby. That what these girls just did. Yep. Have a baby, mommy, baby, be a millionaire. That's exactly right. I mean, they you know what, though? The more I think about it and yeah, I'm a man. So, of course, I'm going to have maybe some bias. <laughs> But the more I think about it, what was they supposed to do? Go have a baby by somebody they own age that don't nobody know and they ain't famous or you could be with, have a baby with Al Pacino, a legend. <laughs> That's like if Michael Jordan is 80 and it's a 25 year old and he want to tap that. What's she going to be like? No, nah, I'm going to be with you know, Larry down around the corner because he my own age and we got something in common. You got a chance to get pregnant by Larry from around the corner or old ass Michael Jordan. Really? Like, really? <laughs> you gonna go get pregnant by some no regular dude that have a baby just by, like anybody could do that. Anybody can go do that. That's what we all do. So, you know, if if uh, Oprah was 80 and wanted to get me pregnant in my 20s, I mean, what, I'm supposed to wait for a woman my own age? When I meet that woman my own age, it ain't going to be too long. <laughs> I'd say, hey, you know, I already got a kid and a couple million. Thanks, Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> So, I don't know, man. I think I'd go for it, too. I think that's part of the problem with the R. Kelly situation as well. Um, because uh, they like, man, they've been screwing regular dudes for free that ain't going to be famous or worth nothing. They might as well get with him and, uh, you know, get something out of the deal. They may have had to eat a little piece of boo-boo, but, uh... <laughs> no. Crystal say Cher is 77. Woo! 7-7, seven, seven, double 7. Yeah, man. 77, that's how old my dad is. So, anybody want to get impregnated by Pops? Let me know. ha, ha, ha. Yeah, right. Uh, Mina, you say, hey, Jay, thanks for your response. Hope you having a blessed day. Love your podcast. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. And uh, definitely my podcast been going on for a few years. I'm almost close, closely approaching my 500th episode of podcast. So I definitely appreciate all the support. Uh uh, helping to keep it going definitely 
All right, um, I'm over here sweating like crazy, even with this fan on. All right, I got another thing right quick. So De Niro and Nick Cannon are at war for who can have the most babies. <laughs> De Niro baby he just had is number seven. He said it feels great. He just as happy as can be. I guess he can't be like, man, I'm still dealing with this. Wait, what is it? This baby forking with me? Hey, 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 you crying to me? You crying with me? Huh? Huh? You crying with me? Huh? <laughs> you crying to me? So, you know, <laughs> anyway, uh, we see his baby number seven. It feels great. And uh, he said he happy for Al Pacino. Uh, he like, hey, we was always rivals. We've been both competing our whole career. I knock one up. He knock one out the park. There we go. <laughs> Seven kids. Ladies, you know what I'm saying? If this wasn't De Niro, this ain't this ain't what you trying to get smashed by normally. <laughs> Ooh, I love that that chicken skin, that turkey neck. Gobble gobble big daddy. Shoot. I can't wait for him to go ahead and rub that up in my little cootie cat. That's about to get it wet. So ooh. I like them little lips. Them little lips can just all up and down my thing a thing thing. Woo! I don't know. I'm getting all hot and bothered and moist just looking at that. Them nice eyebrows. I like the way it blends in with the top of his head. It's just really so. Woo, girl. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hold me back. Hold me back. Get a mop. I'm leaking. <laughs> Nah, you know that's the Dero. He the G. That's why he's seventy nine. I didn't know he was four years younger than Pacino. You know, uh, he like yeah, he's old. I'm just a young man. I still got it. They call me Dirty Grandpa. I told you I was gonna hit that when we was making that film and old girl. I told you I was gonna hit that, didn't I? Okay then. <laughs> De Niro He said When he was asked about it And how he feeling About his, the arrival Of his 8 week It says 8 week year old Daughter That's a mistypo misprint. 8 week Old daughter Gia Virginia Chin De Niro with girlfriend Tiffany Chen. Ain't neither one of these dudes marry these women, though. They're like, look. Hey, look. Here's the deal. I'm going to stick this in you. You're going to have something baking that oven for about nine, eight to nine months. After it's all over, hey, now, nah, you got a baby. Okay, well, let me tell you something. It comes a time. But the heat may be around the corner. And if it is, you may not hesitate one bit to drop everything and go straight to that emergency room. Drop that baby, okay? It's really important. I can't switch to my De Niro after doing Pacino. <laughs> I have to stay in De Niro mode if I'm going to do De Niro. It's hard for me to switch back and forth between the two. I had to get work on the practice in that. <laughs> He said, listen, Al just had a baby. I was told yesterday morning, and he's a few years older than me. God bless him. Very happy for him. Woo-wee. He said he also spoke to the lessons he learned from being a father to seven children over the span of the years. He said, you got a certain awareness. When you're older, you have awareness of certain things in life. Yeah, like... What time do they serve coffee at White Castles? <laughs> it says uh, you can't avoid learning 
certain things and how you could deal with those and manage them and this and that. The usual. It's amazing. Well, you're a grandpa. You know, in all seriousness and all jokes aside, I shoot. I ain't even gonna lie. I look up to these guys. <laughs> Not only legends and probably the two greatest actors of our generation. Uh, you could throw in a couple other names, but they definitely on the Mount Rushmore of this generation's greatest actors. They both have taken care of themselves in older age uh, by still doing movies and staying active. And now we see they still been working that plumbing. Okay, they still know how to, you know, unclog them drains, keep them pipes lubricated. And, uh, you know, they they are taking care of themselves. They're not old people that's acting like they don't know how to do this or do that or falling apart. They took care of themselves, and they out there doing what they got to do. And so I'm going to give them props, man. Uh, I don't know if I would want to have a child at that age just because of I have a deep sense of responsibility so that would bother me knowing that I wouldn't be there. But then again, maybe they feel security in knowing that, hey, I'm leaving the millions. Ain't nobody leave me nothing. Hey, you want to throw the body, leave us some money? Nobody left a ton of nothing. Everything I have, I work for it, okay? All I have in this world is my ball and my word. I break it from Moma. I mean, they are leaving them a legacy as well as a ton of money. <laughs> Although they all both have other kids, they got enough to spread it around. So I don't know. Anyway, before I get up out of here, I want to give a happy special shout out to my girl, my sister from another Mr. Gina. Happy birthday, Gina. Everybody give a shout out to my girl, Gina. Happy birthday. Hope you have uh, a happy birthday weekend and many, many more. Don't come back like uh, one of Pacino's girlfriends, though. <laughs> and uh, with your husband. And then also, I want to say to my brother from another mother, Ill Woods, my friend, uh been going through a lot health wise so definitely keep them in your thoughts and prayers uh shout out to ill woods man uh definitely uh your thoughts you and my thoughts and prayers brother stay strong and uh you know you're gonna see end up stronger in the end man so everybody y'all stay blessed take care What's up, everybody? I hope y'all enjoyed, uh, you know, the Friday fuss this Friday. And, uh, man, if y'all enjoy it, you comment. Hit that like button. Let me know, you know, you, you want me to bring it back. Keep it going. That's how I, at least I know what to do and what people enjoy. So I appreciate all the comments, all the thumbs up and all that good stuff. Everybody was great, and uh, <clears throat> we're going to come with some more topics and things, and then uh, I'm going to also start continuing to open up the chat if y'all want to come through um, and live and chat. And now, after the show, if y'all want to keep talking, I'm about to keep it going. We can keep talking about what happened as well as more topics in the membership so if you ain't joined the membership in the channel yet join the channel membership and you can find the link in the description box it's called mo time we about to keep it going for mo time we gonna talk about this a little more time so you want to keep it going head on over to discord and i'm about to go and click it and start it up now and we can talk about Whatever, maybe this BBL, maybe how your day went, but we're going to chop it up. All right, so y'all have a good one. 
Everybody take care. Oh, and also, when we in Discord, y'all want to see the movie Renfield and, uh, you know, The Matrix. I mean, not The Matrix, John Wick 4. We're going to talk about that also. We might throw that on and watch it. So let's see what's up. I'll see y'all up in there. Y'all take care. Everybody be safe. Join that channel membership. Come be a part of the family. We about to chop it up for a little more time. I'll see y'all later. Deuces.